Listen to this. This is amazing. He says the following. So we see over here that Abraham Avinu, right, taught Eliphaz that if a, a poor person is considered dead. So he says the following. Why, why was he empty-handed? Because he took everything away. So he says like this. Okay. Um, no, I'm sorry. What's that from Avinu? It was Yitzchak who taught Eliphaz. Actually, Yitzchak saved Yaakov from dying. Hitler is called Am Yisrael. He saved the whole Am Yisrael. Because Yitz, Yitzchak was, was brought up in the Cheiko, is in the armpit, the, the, the embrace of, of Yitzchak. Bamalai Bukhun Bukhim. He says, children, boys, he says this, boys come to me crying. They threw him out of yeshiva. They sent him home. Why did they throw them out? Because they're not learning. They're making trouble. Right? So they're throwing him to the street. He says, He says, they're willing to throw him into the ocean or put him at the, on the, lay him on the rails in front of the train. If, if they're not ruining anybody else, wouldn't it be good to bring up this Elifaz? Elifaz was a Russia, right? But Yitzhak kept him. He kept him close, right? So he says that the Chazoyniyash said, she yeshiva is a record bacha, a yeshiva that throws out a boy, who's weak in his spirituality and his learning. Kemoya, they are like Beis Choylem, a hospital. Sheshaleach habayis lechoylem musukanim, who send very sick patients home. Kedei shi musu babayis to die in the house. Umoisim lo yizaka lechoylem beis lechoylem sheit boy to musu gavoya. He says a person who sends a kid home is like a hospital sending a sick person to die. So, but, but what's his point? And his point here is unbelievable. His point here is Eliphaz was very bad. Eliphaz did terrible averes. He was. Uh, whatever, Eliphaz was bad. And from Elif who came from Eliphaz? Amalek. That's who came from Eliphaz. He was very, very bad. Well, Yitzchak kept him and taught him, and taught him this halacha, that, that, that if a poor, a poor person is considered dead. Had he not taught him this halacha, Yitz, uh, Eliphaz would have killed Yaakov. Now, your question to me is as follows. And I always had this question, and Baruch Hashem, I found this answer, and with this we're going to end. Question is as follows. Hold on a second. Eliphaz learned by Yitzchak, right? So Eliphaz learned, right? Eliphaz learned that an Ani is Choshev Kemes. And when Eliphaz came to Yaakov, he said to Yaakov, I have to kill you. And Yaakov said, why? And Eliphaz says, Kivla Ve'em. Didn't Eliphaz learn that if your father tells you to do an Avera, you don't do it? So what was Eliphaz thinking? If you learned by Yitzchak, and he already learned the Dvar Torah that an Ani Choshev Kemes, he surely learned you can't kill somebody because your father tells you to kill you. Because there's no kibbutz of an when, when your father tells you to do an Avera. So what was this kid thinking? Why did Yaakov Avinu have to... It's an unbelievable kasha. And I've heard this for years and I never had an answer. Why did Yaakov Avinu come to him and say, oh, your father told you to kill me, but if you take away all my clothing and everything, I'm Choshev Kemes, Yaakov Avinu should have said, Eliphaz, Allah is... You're not allowed to listen to your father. You're not allowed to kill me. Why do you go to a whole shot? It's a fantastic question, right? So he says the answer. He says, because who was Eliphaz's father? Esau. What was Esau's mitzvah? The one mitzvah that he kept, the Medjur says, better than any, anyone that ever lived. Kivid of Eve. So to Eliphaz, What's that? the most, imp- Kivid, uh, honoring your parents. To Eliphaz, the most important mitzvah and the only mitzvah that his father taught him was kibbutz of aim. And if his father told him to kill someone, he has to kill him. Because that was his father's mitzvah. So Yaakov Avinu knew, I'm not going to be able to talk him out of kibbutz of aim. No way am I going to tell him that in Avera, you're not mechaim in kibbutz of aim. He won't listen. I have to figure out a way how he's mechaim in kibbutz of aim without killing me. The only, way, the only way that he can do that is by taking away all my 
all my money. And who taught him that? Taking away all the money was Yitzhak Avinu. Yitzhak Avinu took a bad boy and he gave him time and he gave him love and he gave him Taira and he learned him Taira. In the end, that bad boy ended up saving Yaakov because really you should have killed him. That boy ended up saving Yaakov and, sending, and saving the whole Klai Yisrael. How careful we have to be how we treat our children. And what the Chidot says is the scariest thing in the world. The kid that, the, the person in the boy's life that, that gives him love and gives him care and calls that boy in his class, Beni, my son, in Shemayim, that's what Kosh Baruch Hu calls his father.